hello everyone uh, welcome to the course of satellite communications today we are in the fifth unit low earth orbit and geostationary satellite systems in that we are going to see the first topic orbit considerations okay so how this particular orbit will be considered on what basis this particular orbit is considered there are several orbits in our uh, space right okay in which several hundreds of satellites are keep on moving around the earth okay so how this orbit need to be considered okay before launching any satellite okay so an orbit need to be considered or selected based on the following things okay so here uh, we are having majorly four points or four parameters in order to remember whenever we are going to launch any kind of satellite okay into the space okay so whenever you launch a satellite of obviously you need to select an orbit uh, which suits our requirements or suits our uh, uh, applications okay so in order to that we need to see which type of object or the which type of orbit or the path okay best suits for our okay satellite for in order to establish the uh, required communication okay that is uh, majorly considered okay so before launching any satellite the following orbit considerations are to be followed okay so the first one is determine the type of orbit okay so we need to see which type of orbit it is okay so there are several types of orbits we have seen already seen okay leo meo geo okay so leo is can be considered as the low earth orbit which is very very nearer to the earth okay and meo is the uh, medium which is little bit far away from the earth and geo is the okay uh, at last far far most uh, orbital path or the orbital place where the satellites are uh, surrounded okay so these geostationary or, or the middle earth orbits or the um, near earth orbits okay or the low earth orbits all these particular which is very very nearer to the earth which is with respect to the medium not too close or not too far from the earth and the geostationary which are very very far away from the earth okay so all these orbital paths are considered okay based on the satellite we are sending and for what purpose we are sending suppose low earth orbit uh, paths are there okay there the satellites are installed where the point to point communication will be done so was considered and geostationary which are far away from this particular uh, path orbital path is used and satellite satellites are introduced into geo if at all you want to cover the huge area of an earth majorly used for the communication purpose okay so we need to determine the type of orbit okay before launching in any satellite okay next comes the calculation of centripetal as well as centrifugal force okay so we have already learned in the unit 1 there are two types of forces acting on the satellite whenever it is moving in an orbital path around the earth okay so one force is uh, is uh, acted on the satellite which pulls it towards the earth and one force is acting on a satellite which pulls away from the orbital path okay so as a satellite is moving with some velocity around the earth okay the force uh, the movement of the particular satellite okay will be acting on a force which tries to move away from the orbital path into the space but what happens some gravitational force of an earth will be acting on the satellite same satellite which tries to pull in inside to the earth so what's happening there is a single satellite over here there will be a satellite here one force will be acting towards uh, the earth and one force will be acting away from the earth okay so these two forces helps in this particular satellite to move in a particular path okay so one is considered as our centripetal force and another one is considered as our uh, centrifugal force okay based on the velocity the force exerted on that particular satellite to move away from the orbital path okay is one kind of force and uh, the force due to the gravitational pull by the earth which makes the satellite to move inside the earth okay 
is considered as another type of force. So based on the orbit where it is placed, whether it is nearer to the earth or away from the earth, based on that, these two forces acts centripetal as well as centripetal, centrifugal, and these two forces, okay, uh, determines the velocity of that particular orbit or the position of that particular orbit. Okay, so these two forces are also very very important. Now, next one is the we need to calculate the velocity of the satellite. Okay, so while considering an orbit, the velocity of satellite is also important. With what velocity the satellite moves around the Earth in that particular orbit? Okay, so for what purpose it is moving? Okay, so based on that also the orbital considerations can be taken. Okay, now the last one is we also need to determine the time period of the orbit. Okay, so based on the velocity, uh, based on the calculations of centripetal and centrifugal forces, and the type of uh, orbit we are choosing okay all these parameters will be uh, considered with respect to the orbit okay and the fourth one is the time period of the orbit here the time period t can be considered with respect to uh, a satellite which is moving in an orbit okay uh, can be considered with respect to revolutions okay how much time a particular satellite okay completes one revolution in an orbit okay so that can be considered with respect to the time period okay so time period is completely based on uh, the satellite revolution around the earth okay uh, in a particular orbit so there are as i said there are several orbits right so based on that particular orbits okay based on the type of orbit used the satellite keeps on moving okay uh, around the Earth. Okay, so based on the time period, also we can consider which type of orbit has been considered over there. Okay, so all these four considerations are uh, very very important. Okay, uh, so before launching any satellite, following orbit considerations are to be followed. Determine the type of orbit, calculation of the centripetal and centrifugal forces calculating the velocity of the satellite and determining the time period of the orbit. These are the four considerations. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.